Hi, I'm Mike Owner of the In Groove in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm doing the new arrival video for April 14th, 2023. Uh, maybe the biggest new arrival video so far this year. I've got two complete full rows. It's a massive amount of stuff and a bunch of killer stuff as well. So uh, this should be a fun, a, a fun video. A few pre-orders I wanted to tell you guys about first. They announced the next two Blue Note Tone Poets. McCoy Tyner's Time for Tyner. That's coming out June 2nd. And Donald Byrd's Slow Drag coming out June 2nd as well. They're finally getting around to announcing the next Steely Dan title within their standard series, not non-UHQR. So they already did Camp By a Thrill months ago, but they finally announced the date of a Countdown to Ecstasy, which is going to be May 26th. They're also doing uh, Nora Jones' Little Broken Hearts. They're doing a single LP and a three LP. I feel like that's going to be very similar to the Come Away With Me which is actually the main disc is all analog and sounds killer. So yeah, getting prepped for record store. I got a ton, a ton of stuff coming. I mean, pallets and pallets of stuff. It's going to be a wild year. So for those of you local in Phoenix, we open the store at eight o'clock Arizona time. So we open early. We normally open at 11. We'll be here at eight o'clock. Everything that is still available, which is going to be pretty much I can't even imagine what would sell out. I've got so much of everything coming. Everything that doesn't sell out, though, on Saturday, you know, Record Store Day, will be online the following day at 8 o'clock Eastern Time. That's 5 o'clock Arizona Time. So, you know, we've done this quite a few years where everything goes online. Pretty goes pretty good. The website handles all the traffic. It goes without a hitch. But yeah, Sunday, 5 o'clock Arizona time, 8 o'clock Eastern. I'll be doing Record Store Day related, related unboxing videos. I'll do the master video. That'll all get done next week. Uh, I also got a killer amount of gold membership stuff to show you guys. I'm really trying to put a lot of great stuff on the website. Uh, I'll tell you about the titles that'll be in the gold membership and what the gold membership is after the new arrivals. Okay, so... I'm actually going to start with some of the stuff that is, this is part of the gold membership, so. But let me start off with some XR CDs. These are a high quality gold CD. Uh, looks like these are done by Audio Wave. They're popular. 24-bit, super analog, extended resolution, compact disc from JVC. Brings the listener higher fidelity and improved audio quality by enhancing the process of mastering and manufacturing the compact discs. I think these for the most part are done. What's available on these are available. I don't think these are being repressed and I don't think uh, they're manufacturing anymore, but I could be wrong. But we've got Horace Parlins on the spur of the moment. Let me, we've got, speaking my piece, another Horace Parlin. I mean, they're super high quality for a CD, you know. Uh, not like the typical crummy CDs you get out nowadays. Donald Bird, The Catwalk. Lee Morgan's Candy. Tina Brooks, Back to the Tracks. Lou Donaldson, LD Plus 3. With the three sounds. Oh, this is a good one. Talking about Grant Green. Jackie McLean, Swing, Swang, Swingin'. Lee Morgan's Tomcat. Man, we need some tone poets to some of these titles, boy. Little Johnny C. Johnny Coles. Stanley Turrentine's Lookout. And Kenny Drew's Undercurrent. All right, let me get these out of the way. Okay, box sets. Lots of box sets. It's like a box set type of week. Okay. Wishbone Ash. This is Argus. Limited edition. This is a 7 LP box set. Oh no, 7 disc. I'm sorry. It's a mixed media box set. Two LPs. Uh, you got the album, a live album. You got three CDs, more live music, DVD, 7 inch single. 50th anniversary edition. We've also got Lithoria, Lincoln Park, 20-year anniversary. They did a couple-disc version of it I showed you guys last week. This is the big box, the CD, LP, 
Live in Texas, two LPs. Live in Nottingham, two LPs. So there's a lot of vinyl in this. Actually, let me see, record one, record two, three, four. So four LP set. Uh, then you got one, two, three, four, four CDs and three DVDs. Big box, bunch of lost tracks, unreleased songs, 40 page book, The Flaming Lips. Let's see, Yoshimi Battles, The Pink Robots. This is the 20th anniversary deluxe edition, five LP set, includes the album, demos, B-sides, and a radio session. 56 tracks on five LPs. Kind of show you guys what it looks like there. More box sets. Okay, this is a restock from Impex, one of my favorite audiophile labels. Jennifer Warren's The Well. Really cool, limited edition. <laughs> Only time I've ever seen this done on this box. Oh, they changed it. It used to be a really heavy, like a metal, that piece of metal that was glued to the box. It's still metal, but it's a lot thinner now. Really well done, really nice box set. Impacts, fantastic label, but this has uh, not been around for quite some years, maybe three, four years. It's been a while. More impacts I'll show you guys here in a minute. Let's see the Grateful Dead, two from the vaults. Let's see, released, uh, excuse me, recorded live at the Shrine Auditorium, Los Angeles in 1968. This is the worldwide vinyl debut of the legendary show featuring the six piece lineup. Let's see, freshly mastered, remastered, nine dynamic songs with eight sides of wax. All right, nicely done. I mean, it's kind of a, you've got, let's see, one, two, three. So you got four discs. It's like a double gate foot fold uh, bound inside of a book. Some more Grateful Dead. Let's see, one from the vault. This is live, 1975, finally back in print, only available in Europe. This marks the first ever LP American release. Lacquer's Cup by Kevin Gray at Coherent Audio, impressed at RTI. Wow, no mention of Kevin Gray on this one, is there? Let's see, no, it looks like this one's done by Kevin Gray. Alrighty, back in stock, one of my favorite releases from Impex, the Three Blind Mice box set. I've got some of the individual titles as well. Got a restock on this box set. It essentially is the three titles in box set form. Blow Up, Midnight Sugar, and Misty. Absolutely killer audiophile. It's, you know, it is the Blue Note of Japan. Absolutely fantastic Sonics. A home run. You can't miss with that. Restock from Mobile Fidelity. A title that I didn't even think was in print, but here it is. James Taylor, JT. This is the single disc. We've got, here's a title that until very recently was going for well over a hundred bucks. Love. Forever Changes. This is the uh, double disc, 45 of RPM. One of my favorite titles that they've ever done, the Dire Straits self-titled. Really good, always sells out instantaneously. This title has never been able to be, be kept in stock. This is copy 28,565, and that's saying something considering, I don't think all the times that this has actually been out, I've had it in the store for probably more than three weeks total. It comes, sells out immediately, wait six months, a year, sells out immediately, wait six months, a year, sells out immediately. It's pretty crazy, you know, for a title that came out with 2019. I mean, if this was something that was available consistently the last four years, they'd be on like 70,000. 
Miles Davis, My Funny Valentine in Concert. Miles Davis, some of the best work Mobile Fidelity's ever done. A record that I keep getting restocked on. Luckily, they have them. But if you don't have it, Miles Davis's Bitches Brew. This was a $400 record a couple of years, maybe a year ago. Before this repress, which obviously cratered that price because then you get it for $59.99. This is a killer sounding record. Really, really good. Highly recommend Bitches Brew. All the Miles stuff. Some people are, you know, a toss up on the Kind of Blue because that uses a remix, a different, uh, you know, different presentation really. But I still like the Mobile Fidelity Kind of Blue. But, uh, there's really not a lot of debate on a lot of the other Mobile Fidelity titles they did. I think they're pretty much universally loved. Somewhere Under the Rainbow, newest release by Neil Young. We were getting Neil Young records kind of between Neil Young and King Wizard and Lizard Gizzard. We were having a release a week. Kind of dried up, but now we are back. This actually looks like a really good concert. This is uh, from the Tonight's the Night Tour. This is November 5th, 1973. 14 tracks on two LPs. And... Yeah, the set list looks really good. You know, again, he's promoting that Tonight's the Night Tour. This is the official bootleg series, Disc 6. All right. Oh, man. For you jazz guys, if you don't have these albums, buy them. For your R&B, soul, funk, if you got a broad range love of hip-hop, these records are like essential. They are unbelievable. These are the ones you want too. Bernard Purdy, Purdy Good, and it is better than Purdy Good. It is really, really good. This all analog, cut from the master tapes, mastered by Kevin Gray at Cohere and 180 grand pressed at RTI. This is the Jazz Dispensary Top Shelf Series. I've gotten a few of these. Oh man, they're killer, the, the series in general. But this is a killer record. Another absolutely dynamite record is David Axelrod, Heavy Axe. Really killer, really funky, featuring jazz greats Cannonball Adderley, Gene Ammons, George Duke, all analog master by Kevin Gray, 180 gram, press that RTI. I got the Lana Del Rey. Did you know there's a tunnel under Ocean Boulevard? This is the indie exclusive with the alternate cover. Covering up. A right boob there, in case you guys are wondering what's going on there. Uh, I had a few of these come in originally, but they were all spoken for in pre-order. Uh, but I actually got restocked on it. Uh, limited edition green vinyl plus alternative artwork. Yeah. All right. Also restocked from Impex. The Dave Brubeck Quartet, Time Farther Out. Killer, must own. This is a comp. If you're not sure whether or not you're going to like the Three Blind Mice box set, here's kind of a comp of Three Blind Mice stuff. The problem with buying this comp is almost everybody just buys the box set because they love it so much. But the thing is, this is at 33. The box set's at 45. So you could theoretically get away with both. Aldi Mula, Friday night in San Francisco. This is the 45 RPM version. Unbelievably killer sounding. Paco Di Lucia and John McLaughlin. Patricia Barber, Click. These are all Impex restocks. This next one, I'm super excited about. Go look at the medium price on Discox for this record. It's 200 bucks, 250, 200 bucks. Been out of print for years. Didn't even realize this was coming back. Miles Davis in person at the Blackhawks, San Francisco, Friday and Saturday nights. This is from Impex. I believe this was cut by Kevin Gray, but for some reason, I think he used like a spoof name on the on the dead wax. But when I looked it up I, on Discogs, it's cut by Kevin Gray. This is one that I didn't even have in my collection. Well, I do now, but I didn't two days ago. Highly recommend. Audiophile Miles Davis, really good. And this is kind of that prime era Miles Davis really coming off of, I want to say this is coming up really shortly off of Kind of Blue. From my top 100 imprint analog records, you should own this. I'm going to show one more time because I was out of stock, got it back in stock. Kirsten Ekins, Shapes and Sound. Speaking of Kevin Gray, five times. This will be the sixth time. This is not only mastered by him, but this is the debut record on his label where he recorded it. He's the guy. 
unbelievable sounding record. I'm telling you, I put this record on in the store. I sell like two copies every time. Whew, there's more killer stuff. Oh, I mean, this is just such a great, I'm going to have like 10 records to listen to this weekend. Gabo Zabora, The Sorcerer. This is part of the Verve by Request series. A lot of these have sounded absolutely fantastic. They really have. They're advertising analog when possible from the best available sources. I would imagine most of the impulse titles probably are analog because we keep getting analog impulse tapes, uh, you know, copies from uh, the Verve series. So I'm guessing those tapes exist in a lot of cases. Another title that is uber expensive to find an original, a part of the Verve by Request series, uh, The Awakening, the Mod Jamal Trio. All right. Now I got all kinds of stuff. Oh, man, it's just a crazy amount of stuff. Feist. Multitudes. Crocus. This is Headhunter. Limited edition of 1,500 copies, numbered on silver and black marble. This is a music on vinyl title. Mountain Climbing, another music on vinyl title, limited to 1,500. We've got Selena Gomez, Rare. El Casanova. Di Federico Fellini, the original motion picture soundtrack to the 1976 Oscar-winning masterpiece. Two LP set restored and remastered from the original master tapes. This is on Decca. Elton John, the complete Tom Bell Sessions on limited edition colored vinyl. This has a Mama Can't Buy You Love. This was the big hit off of this. Actually, he did uh, Are You Ready for Love? I think Panu did a remix of it, too. That was really successful. Jeff Beck performing this week live at Ronnie Scott's 2LP set. Jeff Beck recently passed, unfortunately. This is on white, brown, and haze of vinyl. This is... I actually was supposed to get this originally a year ago, two years ago. I got the black vinyl version. I think they... Something happened, it got pushed back, they gave it an exclusive to somebody else. I don't know what the deal is, but this is the Rolling Stones, a bigger bang, live at the Coca Bet Commander Beach, but this is the multicolored exclusive. So, oh no, excuse me, this is the clear vinyl exclusive. Actually, I don't know, did I even get the multicolor? I felt like this was supposed to originally come out as a multicolor. I don't know if I ever did. I know I got the black vinyl, but here's the clear vinyl exclusive. Jimmy Cliff, The Harder They Come. This is, this is a two LP set. No, maybe this is just a one LP set. It's got a big old book in it. Hmm. Really, I mean, really thick, thick cover. I, you know, just looking at it, you kind of feel like this would be some sort of like audio file or higher quality production, but I don't know. I'm going to have to check into that. Sunny Day Real Estate from Kraft. The Rising Tide. This is The Who, Face Dances. This is the limited edition colored vinyl version. Has to be mastered at Abbey Road. This is essentially the album. There is a bunch of live tracks and demos on disc too. I think this came out as a Record Store Day exclusive. Now, this might be the standard release. I believe it was a Record Store Day title a couple a couple years ago. Frankie Goes to Hollywood, Altered Reels. What is this? Hmm. We've got Motley Crue's The End, live in Los Angeles, limited edition pink snafu vinyl. The Who, It's Hard. This is a, this was a record store a UK title for 2022. Looks like they just opened it up for a wide release, I'm assuming. 
Let's see, double LP orange and yellow vinyl, and this has the bonus disc, which has demos, looks like demos, alternate mix, uh, alternate tracks with Pete, Pete's vocal. It doesn't look like any live stuff on that one. This is Rhapsody, Eve. Cat Stevens, Greatest Hits. This is on limited edition colored vinyl. We've got Metro Boomin, Heroes and Villains. It's like uh, Pink Floyd, wish you were here. Guy shaking the other guy's hand and he's on fire. Huh. Nora Jones, this is a colored vinyl variant. I'm assuming it's still the Ryan Smith all analog cut, right? Why wouldn't it be? Because it's the 20th anniversary. But uh, what a killer sounding record, but this is a colored vinyl variant. Got a restock of the Honky Chateau, Elton John. This is the two disc set with all the bonus tracks, sessions and demo stuff. This is the black vinyl. I actually got the color exclusive in this week. Maybe I, I think it was this week. This is on gold vinyl. So this is just the album though. The other one has the bonus disc, so you can get it on gold vinyl, which is kind of cool. It kind of complements the cover. So single disc, gold vinyl, or you can get the deluxe edition on the two LP set. Bill Withers at Carnegie Hall. This is a record store day essential title only available at independent record stores. We're registered to participate in record store day. This is 50th anniversary on custard yellow vinyl. Two LP set. What do we got here? This is T Honda. What's going on on Jazz Room? Hmm. Might be worth a listen. The Notorious B.I.G. This is Ready to Die. Looks like maybe just a standard issue title. I guess I really haven't seen that in a while. King Gizzard and the Wizard Lizard. Oh, it's like good old times now. We got King Gizzard, Wizard Lizard, and Neil Young, same video. This is from ORG, including demos recorded between 2011 and 2020. Music to Kill People, two demos and rarities, volume one. There'll be more. Hank the Third. This is damn right rebel, damn right rebel proud. Let's see. This is on transpar transparent blue vinyl. Two LP set. We've got Flawless Like Me by Lucky. <laughs> That's a really interesting back cover. Oh, really interesting front cover. All right. What is this? Sinister Slaughter by Macabre. Limited to 1500. Kind of interesting. It's like the hillbilly variant of Sgt. Pepper's uh, Lonely Hearts Club band. Got a shotgun there, a couple of pistols, got the flannel going. Musically, I don't know about that. Okay, Fruit Bats. A River Running to Your Heart. Let's see, we got Bleach, the original TV uh, animation soundtrack, volumes one and two. Nope, not Bleach, what is that? Yeah, it looks like Bleach, okay. Oh, and Margaret. And Margaret, born to be wild. Coke bottle, green vinyl. Just recently watched Viva Las Vegas. Oh man, she was absolutely gorgeous. David Bowie. We've got Aladdin Sane. This is the 50th anniversary Half Speed Master. What is this? This record was cut on a fully customized 
Newman VMS 80 lathe with fully recapped electronics. Oh, good, you're maintaining your, you recapped it. From 192 kilohertz restored masters of the original Trident Studios master tapes with no additional processing on transfer. Could be good. And then there is a picture disc version. And we've got Motorhead's Inferno, orange vinyl. But wait, there's more. About half of this is new arrivals, and then I'll show you guys the gold membership stuff. Uber rare, Cape Wish box set. Okay. Bjork. Fasora. Limited edition turquoise of vinyl. Avatar, The Way of the Water, from the original motion picture. Let's see, this is on aqua vinyl. That makes sense. We've got The Tallest Man on Earth, limited edition colored vinyl. Henry Street is the name of the record. Looks like it's on translucent red vinyl. Neck Deep. 10th anniversary, orange vinyl, rain in July. Uh, Hank the Third already showed that. This looks like a pretty interesting comp series from Music on Vinyl. This is the top 2000s. So it's a, you know, it's a compilation of stuff from the 2000s. Uh, which to me makes a lot of sense. I'd imagine a lot of these guys, maybe they got a couple of good tunes, but maybe the whole album might not be worth listening to. But Valerie, let's see. What do we got here? The Script, Duffy, Maroon 5, Elbow, Queens of the Stone Age, Stereophonics, Rufus Rain White, Alicia Keys, Pearl Jam, Dido, Outcast. So there is the O's, the 60s, Johnny Cash, Moody Blues, Mamas and the Papas, Etta James, the 90s, Oasis, Wonderwall. Live, Lightning Crashes, it's got the Cranberries, Portishead, Scorpions, Jeff Buckley, Brian May, Iggy Pop, UB40. Yeah, these are actually quite good. The Tens, do they have any good music in the Tens? I don't know. Probably not too much. Billie Eilish, God. Billie Eilish is on here, Lord, Bastille, Nothing But Thieves, John Mayer. Yeah. Fire Down Under, Riot. This is, oh, this is number 13. I guess I have some super low copies, although they only did 750 on individually numbered red vinyl. I already showed that. Florence and the Machine, Dance Fever, live at Madison Square Garden, 20 track double album. This is on heavyweight black vinyl. Aretha Franklin, Music on Vinyl, Running Out Fools, limited to 2,000 copies. On red colored vinyl. X, Under the Big Black Sun, number to 1,500. On turquoise, turquoise vinyl. Das Effects, Hold It Down. This is 2,000 copies on smoky colored vinyl. Keep Your Courage, Natalie Merchant. Her first collection of new songs in nearly a decade includes bonus content of four songs previously unreleased on a vinyl. This is on None Such. Ah, Larry June. We've got Spaceships on the Blade, orange and cream quad vinyl. This has some uh, production work by the Alchemist on it. Yeah. Larry June, you can tell he's a big fan of orange juice as well. Maybe he's making himself a screwdriver. Although that may be champagne. What would champagne and orange juice be? Is that a drink? I'm not sure. Uriah Heep's Return to Fantasy. This is a picture disc, limited edition. Toro Yomoi, anything in return. Really nice cover, it's like die cut, 
the seminal third album. He sells absolutely spectacular. Really a good seller. So I'm assuming this will be popular. I haven't listened to it. Don't know what it is. Did listen to the Anderson Pack though that I showed you guys last week. Not really my thing, but yeah. Ooh, this though, this is fantastic. Idris Muhammad, House of the Rising Sun. They did 1,500 of these on flaming colored vinyl. Fred Weasley's on here, Eric Gale, Patty Austin, Michael Brecker, David Sanborn. His cover is of House of the Rising Sun is unbelievably good. Look it up. It's really, really, highly recommend this. Very funky. Uh, another recently deceased, Christine Perfect, Christine McVie's 1970 solo debut. Let's see how many of these they did. No, this is a standard vinyl version. Bootsy Collins, Ultra Wave. Limited to a thousand on turquoise colored vinyl. This is number 378. Get you some P-Funk. And stop with Camel. The Miraculous Hump Returns from the Moon. Numbered to 750 copies on white vinyl. That makes sense. London Brew, self-titled, 12 all-star musicians inspired by Miles Davis's Bitches Brew. Very cool. I will listen to that. This is on Concord Jazz. We've got Loyal Carner, not waving, but drowning. Blink-182, they finally did a reissue of Take Off Your Pants and Jacket. This is something I don't think I've actually had in the store new since I opened. I think I got it for like the first six months, maybe 2014, 15. Limited edition red vinyl version of NWA Straight Outta Compton. Single disc version. Rammstein. Ooh, Rammstein. A Rosenrot. Let's see, what's on this? I like Rammstein. I've seen him twice. One hell of a show. Even if you don't like their music, you just want to go for, like, entertainment. Very good. They blow a lot of stuff up on stage. Highly recommend. And Mutter. Another Rammstein. Title, let's see. We've got Kiss. Revenge. First U.S. pressing since the 1985 editions. Oh, wow, they got their makeup off on this one. Willow. Coping mechanism. Oh, what a beautiful, uh, what, a, what a beautiful television set she threw that guitar through. He, maybe it's a he, I don't know. Ella Fitzgerald, Ella and Louie. This is a Verve title. The Call, Reconciled. Music on vinyl, 1,500 copies on purple vinyl. We've got, oh my God, two King Gizzard and the Wizard Lizard. And Neil Young. This is live in Sydney, 2021. This is the Nuclear Fission Edition on neon yellow nuclear vinyl. I actually dig that cover, that's cool. What do we got here? Denzel Curry, TA-1300. Ooh, gross. Okay, The Roots. How I got over. Okay, this next one, when my wife was doing the unboxing, I was standing next to her. She absolutely loves this album. It's been pining away for it for a long period of time. She would love to have an original. She doesn't. I knew I ordered this, and I thought of her when I did it, but... I didn't tell her, so she unboxes it, and she starts, like, screaming and dancing. Wish I had it on film. It was great. Pee Wee Herman's Big Adventure, Danny Elfman, and also Back to School. So you get uh, Back to School with Rodney Dangerfield, which is weird because, let me see here. Yeah, so it has actually pictures from, it has two pictures from Back to School, 
Uh, neither of them actually have Ronnie Dangerfield in it, oddly enough. But uh, both composed by Danny Elfman. She's a huge, huge, huge Danny Elfman fan. She just loves everything he's done. Daniel Caesar, never enough. This is the Manchester Orchestra, the Valley of Vision. This is the indie record store exclusive iridescent blue vinyl version. The last one. Hope. NF is the name of the band. Limited edition white vinyl version. Okay, this next stuff is for the gold membership. Folks, if you buy from us frequently, the gold membership is very, very well worth it. You get 10% off of everything that's in stock, vinyl-wise, online. And also, I throw in, as a bonus, exclusive access to the stuff I'm about to show you. I put about 30 to 50 titles a week is kind of what I'm aiming for right now. If memberships increases, I will try to pump more stuff online. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of a bonus. If you spend $150 a month, you break even. You know, because you got to pay for the membership. If you spend more than that, you pocket money. Again, this is a bonus. Check it out. This is, I'll start here with this big box set. Kate Bush, though, this woman's work. This is a very rare box set, and this is like mint, unplayed. Anthology, 1978 to 1990. I want to say it's British. I ultrasonically cleaned every one of these records, sleeved them up, just like if you get uh, a record ultrasonically cleaned from me. But a uh, real nice Kate Bush box set. Pretty much everything she did up till 1990. I want to say they're all British pressings. Some real gems in this week's video. A sealed copy of Tony Joe White's Continued. Still sealed on Monument. The Best of Bad Company. Just clean, copy, and shrink. A super nice original stereo of the Rolling Stones now. Really clean. I want to say this was Dear Mint in the shrink. You don't find these records in this shape very frequently. If a record that is always jacked up, but this is beautiful in the shrink, covers not all worn out. A sealed original of Martha Reeves in the Vandells, Riding High. You don't find clean Motown, because... These records got played to death, but you definitely don't find these things sealed from the 60s. A Rimsky Korsakoff Shaharzard. Answer May. This is the Japanese label, the Super Analog Disc with the Obi. Really collectible audiophile record. Really nice copy of Mission of Burma. This is in the shrink. The Gin Blossoms. This is an original copy of Up and Crumbling. This has what Allison wrote on it. Yeah, this had Allison wrote on it. Freddie Hubbard on the Connoisseur series. Promo copy of Gypsy. A very, very high dollar and rare and desirable box set from Phillips. This is Mozart, the great pianos, the sonatas for piano and violin. Like, perfect unplayed copy. This comes out of my collection. Uh, I ultrasonically cleaned it, put it in the box. A nice full run, almost full run, of the Beatles 2014 mono records, individual. So the White Album, all of these I want to say were near mint. Mono Masters. We've got, with the Beatles, Hard Day's Night, again, all ultrasonically cleaned. The Vinyl Me Please exclusive pressing of Fiona Apple. The idler wheel is wiser than the driver of the screw. The Dirty Blues Band on Bluesway. This is a still sealed first pressing. A promo copy of Laura Nairo's Gonna Take a Miracle. Really, really clean cover, not beat. That at record is normally beat. Vince Martin, this is still sealed. 
This is an original copy of Truly Fast Stories from Kid Coma. Still sealed. Original. On Sub Pop. The early Oreo Speedwagon stuff, not that common. This is a white label promo. UK pressing of the members. Blue Cheer. Comes from my collection. Another title from the Connoisseur series, Cliff Jordan blowing from Chicago. Really nice, clean, in shrink. Here's something you don't see ever. That is Queen, A Day at the Races. This is the 90s Mobile Fidelity Anodis series title, and it's still sealed. Ex extremely rare. The Anodis Mobile Fidelity stuff, very hard to begin with. The more desirable titles like Queen, the Nirvana, never mind, very difficult to find. Mono 2014 Beatles Revolver. All right, here's something you don't ever see. Bob Dylan bringing it all back home. I mean, you see the album. This is a sealed original stereo copy, not a 70s pressing that came in, a, you know, the paper sleeve. You can actually tap it right here and see that the record is inside of the uh, plastic bag that the uh, early Columbia Records came in, you know, the plastic bag as opposed to the paper inner sleeve. But very cool. Larry Young's Unity, real nice copy, I believe. I mean, the cover is at least nice. I don't remember what this graded out. This is uh, in shrink, and this is a mono copy. Japanese copy of Jimi Hendrix, Band of Gypsies, but this is a white label promo, no OB strip, but I wanna say that the white label promo and the original non-white label promo of this both had the same OB strip, so it can always be replaced if you have a copy. The only thing that's unique to it is the disc, but white label Japanese records, promos, are not common, really rare. Plus, it's the really desirable puppet cover that was, uh, you know, replaced very quickly. More 2014 mono. Beatles for sale. I think I had everything but Sergeant Pepper out of that lot, if I'm not mistaken. The Eagles, one of these nights, Japanese copy, no Obi, but it is a white label promo as well. White label, and it actually says uh, has a sample sticker. A really clean copy of Redheaded Stranger, Willie Nelson in the shrink with the hype sticker. This is kind of cool. Jefferson Airplane, Bark. The bag is almost always gone, but this is actually a sealed copy. In the bag, sealed, with the hype sticker on the back. Not worth a too terrible amount of, too much money either, bizarrely. Looking on the move, real nice clean copy on Capital in the shrink. Soundtrack to Dances with Wolves. This is not common because it came out in 1990. This is, I think, a European pressing. Really clean though. Soundtrack by John Barry. And last, we've got Fiona Apple, Vinyl Me Please, exclusive of Win the Pawn. This is on black vinyl. Yeah, I get the gold membership stuff all goes live Monday at 11 o'clock Arizona time. Every Monday is when I do the drops for the gold members. Monday, 11 o'clock, simultaneously, everything is going to upload. All right, guys, check us out online at theingroove.com. Until next time, really nice copy in shrink. I'm filming a video here. You give me a... Come on. My wife scared the hell out of me.